the other day i was discussing uh, about the nominal risk free return and the real risk free return and the inflation the relationship between uh, these three things to my students and um, uh, how what we can find out the real rate of return from the nominal rate and uh, the inflation uh, so for example uh, if we uh, think about the nominal rate of return nominal rate of return has uh, two con uh, two components uh, one is the real rate of return and the other one is inflation so when we talk about the nominal risk free return um, we know there is a two component one is real return and the other is inflation for example uh, you, you invested in a risk free securities and you got 11 percent rate of return now this 11 percent rate of return is actually the nominal rate of return uh, but if the inflation rate is uh, for example six percent uh, in that case uh, your real rate of return is not actually 11 percent but uh, rather it is actually roughly five percent i am saying that it is roughly five percent because the actual rate will be less than five percent to be exact the uh, formula is one plus nominal rate of return equals to one plus real rate of return and one plus inflation so if we solve for mm, the real rate of return then the real rate of return will be 1.11 divided by 1. Uh, 0, 5, 0, 6, uh, minus 1 which is actually 0 0.0472 which means 4.72 uh, percent uh, so one of my students uh, asked why the relationship is actually the multiplicative why we multiply why we do not uh, do that so to understand the relationship um, I would like to uh, discuss a more detail about it so if we Take an example that if you have 100 taka so we you have 100 taka and you want to buy uh, one kg of uh, carrot so the per kg of carrot is say taka 100 so in today today you if you use that 100 taka to consume the carrot uh, you will be able to buy 100 divided by 100 which is equal to one kg of carrot now what we mean by real rate of return the real rate of return is actually uh, if the real rate of return is positive which means your purchasing power has increased so uh, whenever we forgo our uh, consumption and invest our money we want a compensation in terms of increasing purchasing power so if you invest money today and your purchasing power uh, goes down in, in future then your real rate of return is negative if you invest today and your purchasing power increase then your real rate of return is positive so take for an example um, uh, your inflation rate is six percent so um, the price of carrot increased to 106 from 100 so now after one year you invested money at the rate of 11 percent and you get 111 taka but the par price of carrot is 106 taka now now with that 111 taka how much carrot you can buy so if we divide 111 by 106 you can buy actually um, 1 plus 0 0.0472 which means 1.0472 kg of carrot so one year uh, back you were, were able to buy 1 kg of carrot now you are able to buy 1.0472 Four seven two, which kg of carrot, which means your purchasing power increased by four point seven two percent. So if we use this number that uh, you have one hundred and eleven taka, and you can buy one plus point zero four seven two kg of carrot. So then we get the um, uh, formula. The formula is. 1 plus 0 0.11 which means 111 divided by 100 we divide uh, 111 by 100 and 106 by 100 and then you get 1 plus 0 0.06 equals to 1 plus 0 0.0472 which means um, uh, we now uh, cross multiply and 1 plus 0 0.11 equals to now actually 1 plus 0 0.0472 and 1 plus 0 0.06 equals to actually 1 plus 0.11 so this is the one one plus nominal rate of return equals to 1 plus 
real rate of return and one plus inflation so by real rate of return we mean the increase in purchasing power and with this example we have shown why we actually multiply rather than uh, deduct to get the real rate of return but for simplicity we usually uh, deduct inflation rate from 11 from uh, inflation rate from the nominal rate of return and get an approximate number approximate number of 5% real rate of return where we get the actual real rate of return is 4.72%. Thank you for watching this video.